Welcome to 28storms.com and Hurricane Tracker app. This is your tropical weather update for Wednesday, September 7th. Hurricane Katia is no longer a point of emphasis as it's already in the process of recurving between Bermuda and the U.S. East Coast. More importantly, we have newly formed Tropical Storm Maria over the Central Atlantic and the official forecast is calling for this to directly impact the Northeast Caribbean. And of course, we now have 96L invest in the Southwest Gulf of Mexico and Bay of Campeche. This could develop as early as this afternoon once the hurricane hunters find more information on this system and they are currently giving this a 70% chance of development into a tropical depression or tropical storm within the next 48 hours. Here is a quick look at Hurricane Katia and we can see that the southwest wind shear including some dry air entrainment is occurring in the inner core therefore that is the reason why the hurricane is already in the process of significantly weakening and we still see the persistent trough off the U.S. East Coast and that is the reason why all of the models had this recurving well out at sea and also to the west of Bermuda so all of the inner core of the hurricane should remain well off to that island's west and this is being confirmed by the official Hurricane Center forecast track which is taking it safely out to sea. Tropical Storm Maria is a bit more concerning as of the 11 a.m. advisory from the Hurricane Center its maximum sustained winds were 50 miles per hour it's moving off toward the west at 23 miles per hour and it is expected to begin impacting the Leeward Islands early Saturday morning and it is expected to pass just north of San Juan Puerto Rico now thankfully the official forecast is not calling for this to intensify into a hurricane but we will still have to keep a close watch on it there is still a fairly large model spread with tropical storm Maria However, the more reliable models are in fairly good agreement with taking this more toward the west-northwest. The BAM Deep model would seem to indicate that if this storm were to intensify more than forecast, then it would fortunately go north of the islands. So it looks like a tropical storm landfall for the Leeward Islands is fairly likely. If it were to intensify a little bit more than forecast, then perhaps this would go a little bit more toward the north. So overall, this isn't the worst of situations for the Northeast Caribbean, but interest there should still be preparing anyway. Turning to the latest satellite imagery, we can still see Cadia well off to the northwest, but here comes Tropical Storm Maria, and Maria does appear to be slowly getting its act together this afternoon. It looks like convection is developing near the surface circulation. However, the intensity forecast is somewhat uncertain. If we turn on the latest water vapor imagery, it looks like we have some southwesterly wind shear right ahead of the tropical storm. And as we get a little bit closer to the Caribbean islands, it looks like we have a lot of northerly wind shear thanks to Hurricane Katia to the northwest and all of its associated outflow. And it also looks like we still have a mid to upper level disturbance here. So the wind shear pattern out ahead of Maria is not all that favorable for intensification. And as we will soon show you, there is in fact one model that dissipates this system into an open wave axis as it continues to move on off toward the west-northwest. Meanwhile, in the southern Gulf of Mexico, it also looks like 96L Invest is on the verge of becoming the next depression of the 2011 season. In fact, it is looking fairly likely that we will have Tropical Storm Nate originate from this area of disturbed weather. Also, if we turn on the latest inf infrared imagery, we can see that convection has been rather persistent over the southern Gulf and the northern Bay of Campeche. Upper level conditions are rather terrible for any type of tropical development in the northwest gulf with a lot of dry air still funneling in from the Texas coastline. However, down toward the south we have a very moist profile in all of the layers of the atmosphere and the upper level winds do appear to be fairly light which would mean that the dry air is going to have a hard time being fully entrained into any surface circulation that does form here. There are two primary tracks that Nate could follow once and if it does develop. The first idea is that it could go northeast into a weakness in the troughing over the southeast United States and make a landfall somewhere between southeast Louisiana through the Florida Panhandle. But a second and possibly more likely scenario is that it remains stalled down here for the next two to three days before beginning to meander more toward the west or northwest in the general direction of the eastern Mexican coastline. The European ECMWF model had been taking this more into the U.S. Central Gulf Coast, but the latest 12Z run that just came out within the last 20 minutes is now indicating more of a western track. As we go into day one, we see that the storm is still stalled here across the four, far southern Gulf, and it's also continuing to intensify. The same can be said during day two, 
and day three, but notice that it is beginning to move a little bit more toward the north and west. We still have this weakness here over the central gulf, so there's really no reason why it can't move a little bit more northerly with time. But as we go into day four, notice that the ridging over western Texas is becoming a little bit more prominent again, and the weakness over the lower Mississippi Valley is beginning to fill and weaken. And then finally by day five, notice that the trough is now beginning to lift out while the ridging over Texas is beginning to make a return. So once again, by day five, it's beginning to turn more toward the west underneath that ridge while still intensifying into a hurricane and making landfall along the northern Mexican coast. Also notice that by day five, Tropical Storm Maria is expected to be just to the north of Hispaniola, but it has opened up into an open wave axis with only a broad area of low pressure at 1,014 millibars. The 12Z run of the Canadian CMC model is the only reliable model that now takes 96L invest into the central Gulf Coast. This is still a scenario that we are going to have to consider, but it has far less model support compared to yesterday. And it's also the most southern model with the track of Tropical Storm Lee passing into the eastern Caribbean. However, it does appear to be a little bit too far south and too weak during the first 48 hours. So it looks like this could track a little bit north of what this model is indicating. And the latest run of the 12Z GFS is continuing its overall idea of keeping the tropical system nearly stalled out in the Bay of Campeche before taking it more toward the west. And as this loop starts over again, it's still fairly confident with the idea that Tropical Storm Maria will pass just to the north of the Virgin Islands. So just to summarize, we are fairly confident that Tropical Storm Nate will form in the southwest Gulf of Mexico within the next 48 to 72 hours, and it's also likely to remain nearly stationary for this period of time. Thereafter, it looks like a track into northern Mexico is the most likely outcome. However, if the trough over the central Gulf of Mexico is a little bit deeper than the models are indicating, we still cannot rule out that it could track more into the central Gulf Coast. However, that is the second most likely scenario at this time. So all interests in the Gulf just need to keep a close eye on that storm as it begins to develop. And the Northeast Caribbean should be preparing for tropical storm impacts within the next three to four days. And all interests in the Gulf and Caribbean are advised to check out hurricanes.gov for the latest and most official information from the Hurricane Center regarding both of these systems. So that is your brief update for this afternoon. Please tune in to 28storms.com for another detailed discussion sometime late this evening and for more videos throughout the remainder of the week. So thanks again for stopping by and have a good afternoon.